Hey guys, you here for the U-Haul CT13 tour? Not me, I already did the Avian tour the other day. You can check it out in one of our other videos. But Trevor's next door. Go hang out with him. Hey everybody, welcome to Argold Road. Well, I guess it's my turn to give you the tour of the U-Haul CT13. Let's go check it out. Well, welcome to the U-Haul CT13. This tour is gonna be a little bit shorter than the Avian because the trailer is a lot shorter than the Avian. This trailer is only 13 feet, but for us and our first camper, it fit perfectly. It's kind of like a tent on wheel, weighs a little over a thousand pounds dry weight. I can pull it from the parking lot and attach it to my truck using my hand. I don't even have to use a jack or anything. This thing being 13 feet was a dream to pull. So simple, so easy. Let's go check out some of the inside. Now we're sitting in what I guess you would call the master bedroom. This is where the dinette folds down into a full-size bed. Probably about six feet, three inches this way and a little over three and a half feet deep. This is where me and Donna typically sleep. And I'm 6'1 and I fit just right. I figure if you're anything over 6'1, it's gonna be a tight fit. That six feet, three inches is from end to end. So that means your toe would be touching one end, your head would be touching the other. Probably not the most comfortable. But me being 6'1", I just fit. And it's worked out well for us. Now let's go check out the next space. Of course, when I say next space, I mean we're gonna fold this back into a dinette. And that's it. It doesn't really take much to turn this into a dinette and this can easily sit three or four people. The only thing about this that we didn't care too much for, why we didn't use it, is that there's not a lot of space right here. So when it comes to getting in and out, it's a tight fit. Do you want me in? I know I can fit in here, but Dad can't. I can fit pretty much over here, like for school. Let's go check out my space. So now we're sitting in what I guess you could call the living room. It's got a little couch here. You can sit here and talk to people that are sitting at the dining room table or sitting on the bed across from you. It could sit two, two to three people comfortably if you wanted to. So the U-Haul that we got doesn't have an AC unit on the roof. So we installed a window unit inside of the trailer for air conditioning because we travel a lot in Texas and you need an AC in Texas. Now we're gonna take this couch slash seating area and turn this into Little D's bunk bed. One thing I want to bring up while we're here is underneath this couch is extra storage space. Not so much here anymore because we installed an AC, but over here is where we used to keep all of our hiking shoes and our water shoes. And then under here as well, you have storage under the beds. And now we're going to show you how we fit in it. All right, let's go. So this is where she usually sleeps, and this could be extra storage up the stop, or you can try to sleep another kid. Let me show you if I could fit. Oh no, Dad! Ow! So technically, it could sleep four adults, but these <laughs> beds are basically made for kids. <laughs> Dad, you should get that now. I can usually fit up here easier because I am smaller. Help, please. <laughs> now we're gonna see if I can fit down here. Oh, come out! He's good. <laughs> It's definitely kind of a tight fit again. But like I said, it could still sleep four adults if you really wanted to. It's better for a family, parents, kids. Now let's go check out the other space. So our next space is gonna be the kitchen. It's got everything you need from a kitchen. It's got storage up above. It's got a two burner stove and a vent hood. It's got an ice box. It's got more storage down below. 
and it even has a sink over here with a hand pump for water. Everything you need for a kitchen. We mostly cook outside when it comes to the U-Haul. Refrigerator, you're probably gonna need to get a Yeti cooler or some other option because there's no refrigerant. There's no propane running the refrigerator. There's no electricity running the refrigerator. The only thing that would keep this refrigerator cold is if you put ice on this top shelf. Other than that, it's just storage. We always used an electric cooler if you needed to for storage. But it also has storage right here. Good size storage for hanging some clothes, stacking towels. So that's kind of like the closet. Down here, you just have some extra storage space as well. So that's it, short and sweet. Hope y'all enjoyed the tour of our U-Haul CT-13. Leave a comment below, let us know what you think. Or if you're planning on buying one, we'd love to help you answer some questions. Till next time, safe travels. See you later. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And hit that notification button to see of all of our upcoming videos. Catch you next time.